my name is Michael Schneiders. I'm the Head of Investor Relations and Sustainability here at Brain Biotech AG in Germany. And in the next couple of minutes, I try to give you some insights why you should be investing into Brain. And also in particular, I think, why biotech might have more to do with you today, and particularly with your future living than you might think today. Brain is already quite an established player in the market. Uh, we have about 38 million of revenues last fiscal year more than 28 years of experience since its foundation, and even listed via since 2016 in the Frankfurt Stock Exchange on the prime standard. So about 130 B2B products already in the market and more than 100 industrial partnerships, I think we have proven that we have a quite decent track record out of there with the industry. And industry is exactly what we focus on. We are biotech specialists, industrial, the so-called white biotechnology, uh, where we basically offer our clients everything from the lab to the production in breakthrough bioproducts and solutions for nutrition, health, and the environment. So when should you really be thinking brain? Well, if you think about megatrends, for example, like vegan or vegetarian food, you should be thinking about brain. Because one of our main focuses is alternative protein bases, i.e. how do we replace meat in our food chain? And therefore, you need technologies like precise fermentation, or microbial whole production hosts who are all biotechnology innovations. But of course, you wouldn't eat any food if it's not tasting good, if it's not healthy, i.e. containing less salt or less sugar, or basically if it's not all free of the so-called R labels, the E labels, where you're basically looking at also replacing uh, artificial uh, preservatives, for example, with all natural preservatives. But we're not only about health and nutrition, we also actually invest into basic technologies to bring forward biotechnology, one great example of that is our novel non-Cas9 nuclease, so what we call the brand engineering Cas, an alternative genome editing tool. We're also looking at biological production, for example, in enzymes or also in large-scale fermentation. And on the environmental side, we have solutions for biomining, i.e. we use recycled material to extract essentially precious metals uh, and to making waste valuable, i.e. we're looking at side streams of the food industry to make new products or, for example, use CO2 for microbial CO2 users as a feedstock, essentially, for these microbes. If you think brain, you should be also thinking, essentially, sustainability. With our products and solutions, we do today address at least five of the UN SDGs directly. And I'm proud to say that in some months, we're also a supporter of a UN Global Compact, so a global responsibility network, which is basically trying to make business life and global life a better place. Brain is very much about this incubator. So what I mean by incubator is that's where we invest here our own money and our own time in our future products and the future of the business. We incubator is a living organism. So mature projects will exit, new projects will enter. And I think what is quite important for you to understand in this quite complicated picture I admit is that two projects will exit soon because they're going to market, i.e. proving that we can bring, can bring uh, programs successfully to market, and two new programs will enter that pipeline. But the new projects are much larger than the existing projects, i.e. the value of the pipeline right now is increasing. Let me now talk about the most exciting project that we have right now in our business pipeline. That's our so-called brain engineered CAS or the CRISPR-Cas mechanism the tool we develop here. And if you don't want to take my words for that, that is changing your life as well, then please take the words of these testimonies and also the people shown on this slide. They're basically the godfathers of this technology. And two of them have basically won the Nobel Prize for it last year. This technology will enable us to cut DNA uh, and also to change basically genes within the DNA or knockout genes, i.e. we can change the genotic code of life. This is a very important technology for many breakthroughs which you will see over the last couple, next couple of years. So what does BRAIN have to do with it? Well, BRAIN has developed its own uh, CRISPR-Cas tool. And the reason why we have done this is because the existing solution is valuable and is also something we would love to use but it's also very well protected by tatens and very expensive to use, particularly industrial uses where the margins are not as high as in pharma. So our scientists have gone out there and basically developed our own CRISPR-Cas tool. And we were very happy to announce that to the market some months ago. So what is the status quo? Well, first of all, we have now a tool developed which is already working today at the company in selected bacteria, fungi, and yeast. Secondly, we are working with an international partner to make that, make that technology also work in plants. 
it has been already shown activity, but it still needs to be validated going forward. And on top of that, and that basically would be a real breakthrough for the company, we are working right now on the program to prove that that can also work in mammalian cell lines, i.e. human cell lines, which would make it applicable to pharma applications. First IP has been already filed, and we're hoping to give you more progress on this over the next couple of months. So what is the economic potential in genome editing? Well, first of all, for us, it means we can use these technologies to speed up our own developments, for example, in the product pipeline I've shown you before in the incubator. Secondly, we can use the technology for our clients, for our customers in our tailor-made solutions business, i.e. our customer research business. Thirdly, we have freedom to operate, i.e. we don't need to pay licenses or license fees to third parties. And uh, we basically have the potential to create our own license and tech access business out of that, either for our customers in the TMS business or by handing out direct licenses. So for us, very exciting program, significant economic upside if you're successful to bring that product into the market. Let me give you some ideas for what are our ambitions in the midterm. So first of all, we're trying to double the revenues from the base 1819s over a four to five years period. This will include some M&A, but also some strong product growth within the group. Secondly, we are trying to become a company which will be profitable and an EBITDA margin at the midpoint around 15%. Uh, from a loss situation we are still in today. And last but not least, we do plan to have at least 30% of our total revenues in new product sales, showing that we are an innovative company and we want to keep that innovation speed also for the future. Summary, six strong reasons to invest in Rain. But first of all, we are clearly banking on some of the mega trends out there and we are addressing five of the UN SDGs directly. Secondly, our incubator products, i.e. our pipeline, which has significant upside value from our breakthrough innovations. Thirdly, our bioindustrial business, that's where we do produce our products for the market. And actually, we have some very exciting products on there, uh, particularly to go into a more biological way of production. Fourthly, our target markets are strong. Many of them are based, for example, in the nutrition and food space, where we have strong and margins for the industry, and also where we have decent CAGRs in terms of growth. Fifth, we are able to do value creative M&A. We have chosen that in the past, and we will continue to do so in the future. And last but not least, for you as a shareholder, not all of the risks of developing breakthrough innovations is only with you, but we do partner um, with other companies to share the risk, and we also get a certain amount of R&D funding from public hands, which actually de-risking our R&D process overall. If you'd like to have any more information, please give us a shout at Investor Relations. You see the contacts here, or listen to the other presentation with a more detailed view of Brain. Thank you very much. Hi there. Since you watched this company video until the end, I'm guessing you liked the video. And that's probably because we work very hard to create the most engaging and added value content for you. If you're a company, and want to find out how we, at Seat11A, can make a company video with, and about you, please email us, at, content at seat11a.com.